there is a transaction object parameter that is known as the auto commit parameter. So if I were to type code, for example, over here, and I would say SQL, SQLCA dot auto commit affirmative. Now, this is a longer discussion than I care to have right now. I'm going to have it when I do my presentation about store procedures. But in general, the word auto commit does not mean what it says. You're not telling Power Builder to auto commit. Auto commit, the default, by the way, is false. What you're telling Power Builder when you say auto commit false, which is the default, is you're saying, Mr. Transaction Object, help me to make sure that I always have an open transaction. Let me tell you that again. You are saying, Mr. Transaction Object, help me by writing some SQL that I didn't write. So when you issue a connect, the driver says, begin transaction. When you issue commit, the driver says, successful, begin transaction. So you always have an open transaction. We ain't there yet, okay? But there's another little sucker. There's another little sucker. This one I'll have to show you in the help. There is something called, there's a DB parm parameter called commit on disconnect. Do you know what that does? You issue a disconnect, but before it does the disconnect, it does a commit. Did I ask you to do that for me? And by the way, if you set it to false, what does it do? Does it not, does something else. What does it do? It issues a rollback. Now, ordinarily, when you're working in client server Power Builder, you don't care. Because if you manage, well, you don't care about the disconnect, the commit on disconnect. You might care very, very much about auto commit equals false because you're always sitting with open transactions. So if you start in the morning at 8 o'clock and you don't do your first save until 3 in the afternoon, you ha any retrieves that you do are inside that. So you've got to be careful about that stuff. It could be doing stuff to your server. But that's not for now. But when you are working in a di distributed transactional environment, when you are sitting in a two-phase commit environment, which we haven't talked about yet, and you're in the server, you do not do commit and rollback. There is a special semaphoring mechanism that has to happen. And if you do it right, it's all declarative, not in your code. Get it? And in fact, if you issue a commit or a rollback, you up the whole transaction. So consequently, I have to wholeheartedly recommend that you set auto commit to be true, contrary to what I write in the lab book. Because auto commit equals true says, what it really says is, Mr. Transaction Object, don't give me any help. I'll manage my own transactions. Which means that you'll have to do an execute in your code, in your client code in Power Builder. What will you do? At the moment that you want to start doing an update, before you, the line before your update will say, what will it say? Execute immediate begin transaction. And then after you've done your update, you'll do execute immediate commit work, and then finished. You manage it. The driver ain't helping you.